All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys optimized settings for Elden Ring so you guys can get the best FPS possible while still having a very nice visual experience. Um, now, before we get started, I really appreciate if you would go down below and give this video a like and then get subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos. And without the way, let's get right into the video. So I did get past the dungeon section of the game where it's much easier to run. I got out to the open world here where it's a much more demanding scene to run. And the uh, I have the optimized settings on right now. As you can see, we're sitting at 83% GPU usages, and we're staying locked at 60 FPS. And I will show you these settings right now. Um, I am playing at full screen at 1440p too. And these are the settings right here. I'm going to go over which ones are more uh, graphic intensive and which ones have a better or uh, bigger performance impact. All right, so starting off with texture quality, I would recommend setting this to whatever kind of PC you have. Like if you have a low end PC, I would set this at low. Uh, medium PC, uh, I would set this at medium. If you have a high end PC, set it at high. And if you literally have the best PC possible, set it at maximum. But I think high is like the sweet spot. Uh, and then anti aliasing is really important. Set this at high, please. Because anything lower than that, it starts to look bad. Here, I'll show you. Low looks pretty similar to off, so I'll just go straight to off. And boy, howdy. Trees and grass just look so bad. Like, even up close stuff, it just looks so bad. Like, please, please, please just use, um, what do you call it? Anti-aliasing. Just put it on high, and you'll be good to go. And SSAO is one of the more demanding features or uh, settings in this game. I would recommend setting at medium or off, depending on your system. But I'm going to leave mine at medium. I wouldn't go no higher than that because it does... Uh, impact your performance pretty well depth of field i would recommend you set it at medium motion blur this is all preference i don't like motion blur so i just leave it off but if you want motion blur you can turn that on shadow quality i have left at high but if you want to you can turn it down to medium it does look a little bit worse but it does help your performance a little bit but i'm gonna leave mine at high lighting quality is at medium effects quality is at medium and volumetric quality i would recommend leaving at medium no matter what kind of system you have just leave it at medium it's not worth going any higher reflection quality is at high water surface quality is at high shader quality is at medium and global illumination is at high and grass quality is at high and i would recommend leaving grass quality at high because uh anything lower starts to look bad so just leave it at high and you'll be good to go and that's all the optimizations there now take a good look at your game see how it looks i think it looks pretty damn good especially with that anti-aliasing at high it does look very very nice you know for me with my rtx 3070 i'm sitting at 84 uh, percent gpu usages it keeps jumping back and back and forth when i was at 89 but this is like as demanding as it gets though we have lots of close-up detail and a lot of far away stuff to render so even if you face this way like a more normal scene it's just, dro it's just dropping down to like 80 and it'll probably go lower Say so, yeah, now right on the 59 and just yeah all right now i will compare these settings against maximum settings or everything turned up to as high as it will go and as you can see we're not even hitting um locked 60 fps <laughs> and honestly it i would be hard pressed to find the difference the only thing that like i can immediately notice is the trees the trees far away look a little bit better they look a little more 3d looking but that's pretty much it. Honestly, I can't tell the difference for anything else. Grass looks the same. So everything looks the same, but we are sitting at a hefty 97% usage. And we're barely hitting that 60 FPS lock. So my the settings I have shown you will definitely help you out. And if you were to head into a fight, I forgot to mention this earlier. With my optimized settings, if you were to go like fight that dude down there, I'm not going to fight him because he's extremely powerful and every time i die i would restart back in the dungeon i don't want that so every time i'd fight him with my optimized settings good to go never stuttered never dipped below 60 fps or anything like that if i were to fight him right now well that'd be a different story it would be stuttering a lot and it would definitely drop below 60 fps well below 60 fps now we got the optimized settings back in there and looks looks great looks great can barely tell the difference and we are now sitting at a nice 60 fps locked <laughs> yeah one more thing i want to mention is that if you are still not hitting that 60 fps mark 
can either turn your settings down a little bit, turn like the SAO down and stuff like that, and the sh shadow quality down. And uh, if you want to, turn your uh, resolution down to 1080p, and that should really help too if you're playing at 1440p. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, then hey, go down below and give it a like. And uh, if you want to, go down below and subscribe. I make Elden Ring videos. I'm going to make more in the future. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.